Hi there. My name is Dr. Bob Vernon, uh, formerly with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. I'm now retired. I worked on wireworms for about 30 years, and uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, wireworm biology. Uh, specifically, I'm going to cover some wireworm facts and life history. So, what are wireworms? Well, uh, wireworms are the larval stage of various click beetle species. This is the uh, scientific grouping. And the more you know about wireworms, the better you're going to be able to manage them. And the more faith your clients will have in you. Wireworms are not a single species. We're dealing with several economic species in North America, well over 20. This is a rogues gallery of some of the pest species that we have in Canada, uh, showing that they come in different sizes and shapes. And if you want to identify them, you look at the back end, uh, which is what the professional scientists use to identify the different groups. They don't stay ugly forever. They eventually molt and uh, turn into these uh, nice looking beetles called click beetles. So where are they pests? Well, they're basically in all agricultural lands in North America. Different areas going from west to east have different species. Uh, we've done surveys in Canada and there's surveys in the U.S. to find out uh, what species are where and who's causing the problems. Uh, this is what wireworm seedling damage looks like in wheat. So these are a month old uh, wheat seedlings that have been decimated by wireworm feeding below ground. And uh, in fields that have really high populations, uh, the fields can be wrecks. This is a field of spring barley that was even treated with a neonicotinoid. It's uh, virtually decimated. Uh, this field of spring wheat had to be replanted. Another spring barley field that is severely thinned, and they also go after corn and other crops. So some important facts to know about wireworms. Uh, you can have multiple species in a single field. In Canada, for example, in our wheat fields, uh, we often have these uh, two species, destructor and bicolor, vastly different sizes and shapes. These two species, Limonius californicus and Infoscotus, often happen together. Now, uh, the time spent in the wireworm stage differs between certain species. So uh, the big guy that I just showed you takes four to nine years to go through its life cycle. The small guy, two to three years. In the Pacific Northwest, these species tend to take about four years to go through their life cycle. So the typical life cycle goes like this. Beginning with the click beetle stage, they emerge from the ground in the spring, usually in April, May, and June, and they'll mate and they'll lay eggs. And those eggs will hatch in about three weeks into what we term neonate wireworms, which are new wireworms. They're very small. The following year, uh, we term them resident wireworms because they're now resident in the soil for several years. And so in the case of Limonius californicus, the first year neonates are about a quarter of an inch long. The second year, the size is about double, half an inch. Third year, three quarters of an inch, and in the final year, they're about an inch long. Now, in that final year, that's when these wireworms uh, pupate. And this usually happens later in the summer, in uh, late July and uh, getting into August, uh, they pupate. And uh, they're in that state for about three weeks, and then they form new adults, which stay in the ground throughout the rest of the summer, into the fall, throughout the winter, and then they come out the following spring and the whole life cycle starts all over again. And what makes wireworms challenging is that all of this happens underground. Uh, you can't see what's going on. It's a very difficult insect to work on. Now, in terms of the life cycle, details are going to differ between species. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of knowledge of the various species' life histories. There still uh, needs to be a lot of work done on that. But if you're a, a retailer uh, working in a particular region, uh, you should strive to know what species you've got in that region and any associated biology known. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you want additional information on wireworm biology or control, uh, there are other videos that you can access. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.